Hi everyone. Hello my floss tube friends. It's time for a mania episode. And it is. It's time for a mania update. It is Sunday, May the 17th, 2020, and this is Mania Day 17 update. So, yesterday evening, I spun the wheel and landed on um, a series, actually. But I am stitching this series on one piece of fabric, and I am only sti stitching six of the charts. So, it spun the uh, Blackbird Designs Garden Club series. So I am stitching again. I showed these in my video yesterday, but if you didn't happen to join in on that one, I am stitching one, two, five, seven and eight. They're not in order, I need to fix that because that bothers me. Seven, eight, and then 11, which I am waiting on to ship. Um, it lives in this beautiful project bag from a seller that I found her name. I think it's Shirley, she's on Stash Unload. And she hand makes these with the quilted pieces and I just thought it was so pretty for this project. And I did go through today, it took some time, but I got all my flosses correctly on my ring. I punched the extra holes in the Victorian mottos and the class uh, color and cottons and I got all my extra holes punched. A couple y'all mentioned and were like, never would have thought about it. I was the same way. When I saw Jenny show her floss card, I was like, duh. <laughs> so I felt about it, duh. like. That's just like who would have thought because normally what I would do is put all these little pieces on the same hole and then it's a pain to pull them out. So I kind of have a system. This is my main yardage. When I pull one strand to separate, that's where it goes on this side. And then this side is anything left over of a of the length. Um, I have worked on this a little bit this evening. Um, I am shooting for about 330 stitches and I'm nearly there. Um, that is for a square on a property on um, Semi Sane Stitcher Stitchopoly. I am stitching this on a piece of 18 count color and cotton Inspector. So S P E C T R E. It was a fabric of the month and it's an 18 count Ada, as I said. And this is where I've started. And I started with. Um, nope, not that one. <laughs> basket of cherries so I started top left I'm gonna do three blocks across three blocks below so I started on this block and um, I've stitched in a few of the colors I've got some of gentle arts antique rose a little bit of gentle arts uh, ruby slippers this is gentle arts burlap which looks really brown in real life but is reading much more green which is good and then um, I've got some leaf work I want to do in in dive and then I think I'm gonna get a little bit, I wanted to get the third color. I think there's three or four colors in the cherries. So it's antique rose, then the darker red is ruby slippers, and then there's like a mahogany red um, that will be some of the cherries in the big bowl. And so I wanted to get a few stitches in that. But I wanted to pop on and get this uploaded a little bit earlier than it was last night. I am loving this. This fabric has got a little bit of a grayish, um, grayish purple, kind of a lavender tone, but it still is a very neutral, and I'm loving how it stitches up. I am doing two strands over one. Um, 18 count can be, go either way for me, but I wanted it to look like it does on here where it's a really thick looking stitch. Um, and so far I am super enjoying this project. I'm going to put some more in this evening and then, um, maybe even pull it out a little bit more later on this week. We'll see how far I get with my 30 minute daily stitching. I think if I get my 30 minutes of daily stitching project finished, that'd be tight. But if I got it finished before the end of the week, I could pull, I could maybe spin and see what could get pulled. So speaking of spins, let me show you my basket. Now the basket was getting very empty, but then I had to start putting some projects back. So from here up, except for that one that's an empty bag, these are all coming starts. This is all things that have been started. And this project back right, bag right here holds all joys for thine, which is my Tuesday start. And if you remember, come join me for my Tuesday video because that's my one year floss anniversary. So I have four projects to spin between at this point. 
because spring tulips, which lives in the chicken bag, has been pulled until that fabric comes. And if we get pretty down to the wire, I may pull a different project in. I have a lot kitted in my um, office, so I may pull something different. So let's see what comes up on the wheel. Like I said, I've only got four remaining, and we're gonna see what we get. So let's spin. Let's get a good project, they're all really good. Oh yay, I'm so excited about this one, yay! I'm excited about them all, but I'm really excited about this one, and I think it lives in this bag. Let me make sure before I show you. Yes, this is a So Much To Love project bag. Um, the front is kind of those classic Valentine barns, and then the back has this really pretty barn wood with the kind of flowers and your cabbage roses. And this holds Little House Needleworks Blessed is the Life. And it says, Blessed is the Life that Finds Joy in the Journey. And I love this. I am doing a conversion. Here's my very scratch written conversion written out. And I'm stitching this on a piece of 18 count Ada. It's a real long skinny piece. And this is from a seller on Stash Unload or Stash Unloading by the name of Oksana. And she puts her hand dyed fabrics. So this is just a very light parchment color. I need to go through and fix my flosses, but I will show you my palette. I have really jazzed this up. The initial chart did not call for very many colors. I think maybe less than 10, maybe even less than eight. I have added in some extra ones. Um, and I'll chat more about it as I move through the project and show it. So I've got some DMC, I think that's 3371. I've got Weeks Dye Works, like a light blue. I've got Color and Cotton Classic Color Works, some Victorian Motto. I don't have any Gentle Arts. I, and I only have just the one Weeks and the one DMC. But here is um, the other fancy flosses. And um, so you can see I've got some fun colors in there and then like I said I've added in a blue and I've added in the 3371 so it's gonna look a little bit different than this which really only had just that small handful of brown screens um, but I have a specific reason in mind for that conversion so as I said I will share that with you now when I shared my mania document that had all of my um, choices for mania I shared what my conversion was so I will put a link um, to that video um, it'll probably be tomorrow but I can um, add a link into the description box for that that Google document that has that in it so I'm excited about that start for tomorrow please join me tomorrow evening as I just share once again my all joys for thine and my progress on blessed is the life and um, with that, I hope you have happy stitching and are enjoying the, the final moments of your weekend. And hopefully you have a wonderful week ahead. And I will say, so long, stitch well. I'll see you soon, my friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.